versus ATV Untamed. I really hope you guys don't mind me playing the entirety of that intro because holy crap is that nostalgic for me. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well today. As you can see, we're playing some MMX vs ATV Untamed. Now, over the last couple of days, I've been trying to work on the emulator side of things to get some old games working. And I really, really wanted to get a live working, but all of the versions I can find, they just don't work properly. Massive graphical glitches. Uh, this, you can see, it's it, it's definitely in some need of anti-aliasing, but it is a very old game bearing mind, so it's not going to look the best, but I hope we don't mind it regardless. One thing that I want to do, First and foremost, since I can hear all the music in the background, is I'm going to turn it off because I don't want any uh, any copyright issues. However, there's one thing I want to do before we do anything else. Second gear, third gear, fourth gear, I'm gone. I'm going to let the rubber burn as I'm riding the long signing autograph later right now. I'm in my zone. The gate just dropped. Got my whole shot on. <laughs> Okie dokie, that's enough of that. Let's get into some damn racing. So, on this gate, look at this already, man. Like, I can't help. But compare this to the most recent releases like Legends. Like, we don't have Mini Moto in Legends. Uh, we don't have Enduro Cross in Legends. We don't have Super Moto in Legends. We don't have Open Cross, kind of, in Legends. And I just, I don't get it. Why do we just get less and less content each year from these games? It's so, so disappointing, man. Now, one of my favorite all time things, as you know, is Enduro Cross, which I kind of want to do first of all, because I absolutely loved doing the Enduro Cross on this game, uh, which was my favourite one. So we've got Lincoln Memorial and Fairview. I think Lincoln Memorial was my favourite of the two. So we're going to give this one a go, and I'm just going to do a quick free lap race because I want to get through quite a few things in here. Uh, let's whack her on Legendary. I don't think I'm quite good enough all time yet. And I've not put in any cheats or anything, so I've got nothing unlocked. So I think I'm going to be one of the pro riders. And you can see, looking at my rider... Can you see how the gear is all kind of glitchy and the reflections are super messed up? That is the only downside that I can see uh, from this emulation. So you'll have to kind of take that with a pinch of salt. However, I'm definitely going to be around Villapoto, by the way. Uh, on a live, you couldn't even see the rider in the bike. It was completely black. Uh, so this is this is working a lot better. But we're going to be... Oh, we've got, we're against Chad Reed, apparently. Reed's uh, taking over some, some Enduro. And we will go start event. Just trying to get my head around all the buttons again. So, oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. And uh, look, it's just, I'm going to be so used to playing two stick. I'm going to be look, using my right analog stick to look around. But I need to remember that it's just on the uh, the left stick only. Oh, got all the viral tricks as well. Oh, God. What was the um, what was the modified button? Was it R1? Oh, yes. There we go. Oh, do a flip. No hand and land. Oh, boys. I'm so excited for this. Oh, right. Difficulty hard. I wonder if that's got to be track difficulty, surely, because I'll definitely set it to definitely set it to uh, legendary. Let's give it a go. Let's see how this goes. Um, a little nervous. My boy. Oh, that's not the clutch. <clears throat> my boy Heinel on my right, stolen my gear setup. Rob, Rob. The engine sounds don't even sound too bad for back in the day, if I'm being completely honest. And I believe we're all on. Oh god, no, we're not all on one two fives. I just heard a four stroke. You see how shiny everyone's gear is. That's an that's an emulator thing. Don't worry about that. Now, uh, a few of you, or I imagine quite a few of you, uh, will probably ask on the PC to fight, PC side of things how to play this. Um, I have a bit of an issue with that. So <laughs> I've gone through many a, uh, a dodgy looking website with some interesting download pages where you know it was you've got like ten different download buttons and nine of them are viruses and they, what, there's one of them that works. So I don't really want to leave any links one because i'm pretty sure emulating is kind of not allowed in general uh, for copyright reasons um but i also don't want to be that person that gives you a virus on your pc so <clears throat> do your own research on that one um but it is out there they, they do exist and oh god you can see as well they're all see they're not perfect games they're all going to have their issues i couldn't even play your life because as soon as you go to the track, everything would go completely black screen and you couldn't play it. I got so hopeful at first because my idea was, oh, hang on, there's been a few uh, Alive tracks released on MX Bikes recently. Let me go play Alive itself and, and go relive the good old days because I don't even have a PlayStation uh, 3 anymore. I don't think you can get them on 4 or go forwards compatible. I'm not sure that's a, that's a thing. Um, 
yeah, I don't have a PlayStation 3 anymore to go back. I don't even have, I don't have a capture card to have the facilities to go and record it. Uh, so it would be quite a, uh, a large investment for something that probably won't be worth it. Oh, who is that? Is that Chad? Chad has just absolutely sent that <laughs> through that entire section. Fair play. And, oh God, I just, I miss, I miss, miss, miss things like this in modern games. It's, that is, that is why, is this, these games are what I grew up on. Uh, I remember this game specifically that when it came out, I believe it released in America before it released in Europe. And I had a friend who went to America that I used to race with as a kid. And he actually got that copy of the game. So he had the game like a week before anyone else that I knew. I remember going around his house and also choosing Ryan Villapoto at the time. He was my favorite rider at the time as well. And just, just running laps. It was so, so fun, so enjoyable. Oh, up over there. Oh god, we're already on the last lap. <laughs> These don't take very long. Can I just <coughs> seat bounce this entire section? No. Oh, don't go over the bars. Thank you. And I'll tell you what, in terms of pick up and play, it's very, very easy. Because I've not had any practice ahead of this. I've just hopped on the game and started playing it. Go over this. All I've done ahead of time was create a little uh, profile and get all the uh, the sound presets right. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm definitely going to have to turn it down in the old uh, editing process because... Right now, my ears absolutely getting destroyed. Like, uh, I'm not sure what it is with uh, video games, why they feel the need to blow your ears off and have everything max 100%. But, uh, oh god, please go back on. I can literally win this if I don't let this guy pass me in the last corner. Oh, you bastard. Oh, he's taking me to the... Oh, no, I think he's just won it. He's just won it. He's run me into the bloody plants. Fourth. Oh, I had a win on the cards there. Oh, I was disappointed. Oh, and then, yeah, on this game, so I forgot you could do, like, no-handers on the straights and things like that, so... That's really, really cool. I want to do, I really, really want to do some mini, you know, like mini moto, super moto, what they call it. Yeah, mini moto. Let's get into some mini moto. So what tracks do we have here? That's, so we've got Edgewater. It's weird that it starts you on the far right. Spectre Arena. Which one was the best one of these two? I mean, this one's got an over under, so I kind of want to do this one. I will do this one. We'll do three laps again. I'll put them in a little bit easier because I like winning all the time. Uh, Customised Rider. Sorry, RV, you're getting, uh, you're getting put to the sidelines this time. I want to be someone else. Who have we got? We could be Chad. could be Billy Leninovich. Should we just be... Should we be Big RC? I mean, basically, a pit bike for RC or a mini bike is basically the same as a normal size bike, isn't it? He's, uh, he's a bit on the short side. So we'll be, we'll be RC for this. Let's get into this one as well. Let's try it. Well, that was a weird engine sound at side. Oh, no, it's just when it's on the limiter. Yeah, I'm quite surprised. So this game was... I'm definitely going to speak out of turn here. This is old, old, like... I would say, like, near... two. It was it was pre-2007, I believe, that's for sure. Because I think that's when uh, Reflex originally came out. But for such an old game... Obviously, graphically speaking, not the most amazing. But in terms of sounds and actual gameplay, really, really good. And sad, sad enough to say that I think the actual physics and handling of the bikes are probably better than the modern-day games anyway. Obviously, they are a lot more arcadey, but they're arcadey in an enjoyable way. So let's see if RC can win his first ever <laughs> his first ever mini bike race. God, look how the uh, pit board pit board girl just yeet off the track. Oh, go 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 go! Oh my God, I've just been centre punched. Jesus Christ! Let's get back on the track. I like as well as you've got a little bit of a uh, a time period for yourself to reset, and it actually points you back to where you need to go back on. Jump into here, up, up the inside, skirt! Oh, I'm remembering it all now. I remember this track. This is quite an enjoyable one. Over to the left. Oh, Jesus Christ. Didn't go over the bars. That was very, very lucky. You can see the lines from, uh, let's, let's call it the, it's not deformation, is it? Because the track doesn't change. But just basically the rut trail. It looks so, like, it's so goofy where they're just, it's sharp edges. They're not like smooth turns at all. It's just like you can see the squares in them. That's part of the uh, part of the nostalgia, I think. Absolutely love these games so so much. Let's get some sight. Oh god! Oh Jesus! I forgot that your handling gets a lot worse when you do like a modifier on the ground. It just veered me off to the left and then the right afterwards. <laughs> Up and over. I want to try and do like no handed landers and stuff off these jumps. Oh, got it! Screw it! Oh Jesus! Look, who's this? McFerrin. You want to go, mate? You want to go? Oh. <clears throat> okay, you won that battle. I will win the war, though. I'm here. Call me here. Oh, God, I feel so slow as well. I think it feels slower than back in the day. I know that I'm probably having a bit of a skill issue, but I used to I used to rate myself on these games back then. I thought I was I thought I was the bollocks. Backflip. Oh, come on! I had enough rotation on that. The front wheel was round. Game's doing me dirty. 
trying to watch me fail. It wants my demise. Yep. Up on over this. Now, one thing that I could have done for this um, quite easily was just look up the cheat codes online and just unlock everything for myself. Uh, however, I won't lie, I kind of want to play the game just through, you know, like by myself, whether it's on camera or off camera. Uh, I think it would be really, really enjoyable and you guys probably have to let me know if you want to see any more videos on it at all, if there's any special requests that you have on it as well, any certain uh, tracks or game modes. Because if I remember correctly, the super moto on this was also really enjoyable. Absolutely wild, like so flat out, just lean back and pin it absolutely everywhere and hope. Oh god, there we go. And I feel like there's no... It's very difficult to get a smooth transition from leaning back and turning where there's only one stick. So you, you find yourself going from not turning at all to then turning too sharp. And there we go, I won that time. Give her the no-hander lander for the fans. Nice up. I just like how quick fire and rapidly we can get through these. And I don't seem to be limited at all on what I can play, which is one of my bigger concerns with the modern day games is I just have to work my way through the entire game and I imagine that it can get a little bit boring. Let's hop into a normal national since I'm doing all this weird and wonderful stuff. Um, what tracks have we got? Let's go to the beginning. Split. I do remember Split Oak. Split Oak was a very good track. What other tracks have we got that I can just remember off the top of my head? Uh, Lakewood, Loveland Valley. See, a lot of these I'm not actually too sure of. It's been that long. I remember Copper Valley. I believe I saw the actual MXOS ATV guys. I believe they put a Facebook post out of Spencer Turley doing a video on old uh, Copper Valley, like quite quite some time ago. Uh, so I'm I'm going to do standard split. Okay, we'll give that a go. Go uh, customize rider, uh, pro rider, MX rider. Why am I on ATVs? I don't want to be on ATVs. <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> what's going on here? Uh, back again. Back again, AI skill group. Oh, maybe you can only be ATVs. Continue. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I'm being stupid. Ignore me, ignore me. It's all new to me again, I apologise. Right, MX Pro Rider. Let's be Grant. Let's show Grant some love as well. I do miss uh, Grant in the uh, the commentating booth, I won't lie. He, him and Weege has definitely got to be my, my all-time favourite combo, uh, just in the booth in general. Oh god, I feel like I'm playing... I'm on the verge of playing Minecraft, looking at some of these uh, people around the tracks, just with how pixelated they are. Uh, if you're watching on a phone, probably isn't anywhere near as bad. But I'm playing, I'm playing the game on a 28-inch 2K monitor, so it's like fully, fully stretched out. I'm hoping that when it all gets condensed on YouTube, because it'll be slightly smaller, it won't be quite as bad. But I, like, I can't even work out any details on that lady's face that's just run off the pitch. All right, go, 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 go. Let's see how we do here as well. So I've got them on, on pro difficulty. Oh, I knew something like that was going to happen. I'm going to be using this map at my bottom left to hopefully work my way out. Going to be absolutely preloading the life out of some of these jumps as well. But actually, I remembered that first jump there. I remember it was absolutely huge. Let's go. Oh, da, 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 da. oh this, I just, this track is just going to be wide open the entire time, isn't it? That's how I'm feeling at least. Oh, this, oh, this, this jump's begging to be tricked. I'm sorry. No, it's straight into a corner. Oh, thank God it didn't work. Oh, God. Oh, this might end up being a bit of a uh, a lonely race out in front. If I get a flow going. Oh, no, this is it. This is exactly what I was talking about. So I remember this is the first track I believe me and my, uh, my friend played when he got the game early. I remember playing it split screen, going up that hill with him because I looped out multiple times in a row and I was getting really frustrated by it. There you go. Let's get a backflip on the go. Don't over rotate. Yes, lovely. Like, case the shit out of the jump, but it's fine. We move, we move. Up. No hander for the boys. Oh, that's not coming back round, is it? Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. I'm used to playing MX bikes too much now, where I can just, uh, I can land with my body off the bike and it'll carry on going no problem at all. I need to do less of that. Oh, shit. I think this, the uh, bottom of this hill gets quite rough and bumpy as well. Yeah. It'll carry as, my, as much momentum as possible. We'll try and keep it nice and smooth. What is going on up here? Why are people sliding up the hills? This looks like TP, like Travis Pastrana in front of me. Not now, not Arcacel, whoever that is. A nice little step off. Break around here. Yeah, that's already a lap done. Bloody hell. Right, here we go. Get on the gas. Send it for the fans. Little old, little whip. Oh, God. It's, it's actually really throwing me off a little bit where it's one stick rather than two. 
I, all the games that I play nowadays are two stick controls, so I feel like it's just weird, you know. Like I hold my controller usually in a, like a claw position, so I can use all of my, uh, my like my right stick and all the buttons on the right at the same time. Oh god, this isn't going to go well, is it? Oh, go on. Oh, that was perfect. Uh, yeah, I usually play claw on my right hand, but I just I don't need it anymore. So my, how I've got my right hand position now, where it's quote unquote the normal way of holding your controller, it just feels so weird. It feels like I'm not not doing anything. Up and over. Right, I'm getting a bit of a gap now. We've got two seconds. So I'll try not to uh, absolutely wad myself. Didn't get fully over this jump last time. So let's get up and over that. Lovely jubbly. Ra -da 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 -da. And send this bad boy as well. I don't know all of the different uh, trick combinations. You have to forgive me for probably repeating the same ones over and over again. Uh, I really, really enjoyed um, this game. And I think Reflex had a really good way of doing it as well. Probably same applied through to Alive. Um, just how you go about doing your tricks and your flips and your 360s is they, they all seem like super, super easy to do. Uh, I feel like a lot of uh, modern games kind of miss out on the whole freestyle part of, of motocross. Although it, it is it is quite a big big aspect. And I know in, in air physics must be so, so difficult to, uh, to code and get right. Oh, I'm going to have to turn this into double. Oh, I stopped the rotation halfway through, and then I thought, oh shit, I'm not actually going to... Uh, I thought I'm still going to over-rotate. I bring it back, and I just couldn't get the rotation back. Well, once you stop your rotation in the air, there's no chance you're getting it back, which I like as well. I'm talking about... Here I am, I'm sat here talking about realism on a game from early 2000s, <laughs> as if it actually meant anything back then. Oh, that looks sick. It's a Death 360. Somehow landed that. Grant's got the old core strength right there, landing in the, those OJs. We got behind us. We got we got Arcacel. Now I did see uh, for you older old people as well. If anybody played Unleashed, there's one AI name. Uh, I don't know if maybe he's a developer, something like that. But that always come up. Came up in Unleashed. I've seen it in here again already. Is uh, Takahashi. That was. A, did you see that weird light flicker? It's what I mean. There's definitely there's some weird uh, graphical issues here with the uh, the emulation. Uh, but yeah, I always always see that name throughout these games as an AI. So part of me thinks that maybe it was a uh, was a developer or a coder, or whatever it may be, uh, just putting a bit of uh, himself into the game, which is quite cool. I respect that. I like that. I do like games where they've got little little Easter eggs like that. And I feel like most mainstream games when they've got all Easter eggs in regards to maybe developers put pictures in of themselves or family and something like that they always get covered by a mainstream youtube but obviously we don't get any of that in motocross games so there could be a bunch of hidden easter eggs and we never really uh really would know like unobvious ones that is player one wins i'm um, uh, please please end it yes okay we didn't get to see myself absolutely destroy my back um so that is the nationals as well i think i want to do one more thing shall we try I just I want to try some open cross. I know it might not be everyone's uh, favorite thing to do, but I just want to try out some different vehicles and see how it goes. What is one again that I remember playing? Lakewood. I feel like Kittery Point's the only one that I remember off the top of my head. I'm just going to do two laps on this. Go continue, and oh, it looks like I can be what can I off road buggy, sand rail, monster trucks, ORV. Oh, I'm torn between off-road sand rail and monster trucks. Uh, for the sake of speed, I'm going to do a sand rail. I know that monster trucks probably would be incredibly fun, but I'm going to uh, going to pass on it for this video. Who knows? I can always do something in the future. I'm going to be Millsaps because he looks just pure silver right now, even though that shouldn't be the case. I'm pretty sure that kit is meant to be more of a, a grey colour. But Oh, look at this. Like, oh, Come on, M Milestone, please. Just bless us with something like this again. This is so, so sick. I know we've got UTVs in Legends, but is it enough? Considering we had all of this years and years and years ago. I don't know. Not too sure about it. Hit repoint, open cross, difficulty normal. And like, uh, is everybody in sand rails? Yeah, they are. Okay, so it's going to be fairly equal. We'll see how this goes then. It should be interesting. And I don't think there's a way. I don't know if you can play first person on this game. I've got two cameras. I've got kind of like a, a pan around camera here, and then I just change my camera and it goes back to the normal one. So I don't, yeah, I don't think that I have a uh, proper first person 
camera at all. Which is a shame, because I would have liked to play first, and I don't know if that is just a uh, an emulation issue, or if there's some special button combination that I'm not sure. Oh, hang on! Hang on. Just been pressing on my... <gasps> yes, let's go! I've just been pressing all my buttons randomly. Okay, this would have been much better off doing this on the bike, so I'm probably... Oh my god, we're drifting! But I'm not going to do this in the old, uh, the old Sam rail. Oh, look at this! I love how the traction changes as well from when you're going on the grass to the uh, to the tiles slash bricks driveway or pathway, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, you, you lose grip on those, which makes sense with these big massive sand tires on. And then when you're out on the dirt and on the loose stuff, you actually you get some decent grip going down. It's like so you can see so my roll cage right now around my rider. It looks so bad with no anti aliasing on it. it looks like oh, it's so jagged. Oh, I have to, I can't, I can't uh, judge the looks of these games. I have to go purely based on gameplay. And I know that nostalgia is one hell of a, uh, a bribe, one hell of a factor when it comes to playing these. But some people could probably very easily argue that the modern day games are better than these. But I think for the fun factor, reliving my youth, and probably the amount of content that these older games have as well. Like I said, we've got... Supermoto in here, we've got mini bikes, we've got normal motocross, we've got supercross, uh, we've got all this off road and stuff with monster trucks, trophy trucks, sand rails, all sorts, and I just miss it. I know the games are called MX versus ATV, so that should be the focus. Um, but really, once you've completed everything once, what's what's keeping you there anymore? You know, I, don't, I feel like there's no replayability. Oh god, downside that. Oh, that was close. I didn't. I didn't even know what jump that was. I imagine that you can do these tracks backwards because that looks like a takeoff as well as a landing. Um, I remember back in the day there is, what's it called? There's like a massive. It's not a campaign as such. It's like a. Oh, what you? It's weird because it's like you, you can progress how you want to go through different tree paths. But basically, it's, let's just call it a crit. You know, you've got all of your different uh, disciplines in the game, and you can kind of choose and work your way through them bit by bit as you want. I remember sitting down in the day and just going through absolutely everything there was in the game and I'm pretty sure that I left uh, these bits till last because I wasn't a massive fan of the uh, God, of the open cross stuff back then I just I love my motocross I love my motorbikes I just wanted to play that more than anything oh god there we go it's fine we're back on the track we've got a good lead we've got six almost seven seconds so nothing to oh god oh god oh god we're drifting nothing to worry about too much turn 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 let's just it's, Oh god, it's steering by itself on the straights. There we go. Okay, we're back. We're back onto the uh, back onto the clear. Back on the straight and narrow. One, I, I'm a little bit annoyed that I do have to mute the music uh, for these videos because I feel like the music on these old games is what. As soon as you hear it, it just it triggers something in your brain that just takes you way back. So in the intro, and obviously listen, I listen to. <laughs> quad up in its entirety at the start and uh, it's sad that I know nearly all of the words to that song even to this day after not hearing it for years and years and years. Uh, I think I was so like obsessed with it that there was a point where I removed every other song from the jukebox and just that was playing on repeat. Uh, so when, when if uh, if I'm playing this outside of making a video I'm going to turn the music back on and just have a, have a little jam out and I'm sure somewhere I'm sure Spotify or something like that has a as a playlist with all these songs I can go and listen to. I'm just, I'm praying that I don't get copyright striked because YouTube's so sensitive about it nowadays. Uh, maybe I'll, I might just boost my voice over top of the music so it's not as recognizable. You don't hear the quad up bit as much, but yeah, I hope you guys appreciated that in the beginning. Uh, it's, it's, it's a bit of, um, it's a bit of a meme -y song in a way, I suppose. Just, it's like it's so so cheesy, especially in terms of uh, motorbikes and and quad racing and stuff. I don't think you can ever get a proper proper off roading song if that makes sense that sings about it without it sounding cheesy. Uh, but as we are running down the time here, uh, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. Uh, there's been a lot of support on videos recently and the shorts and things like that. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you want to see some more Untamed, let me know what you'd like to see probably not going to do an entire let's say campaign story mode or whatever you want to call it but i'm more than happy to hop on now and then and try different disciplines and whatever you guys fancy and i think that'll do it for me please do drop a like if you enjoyed the video uh subscribe to the channel if you're new i hope you guys have a lovely rest of the day whatever it is you're up to and until i catch you in the next video 
É isso. I'm working hard, I'm sacrificing my life, I'm sacrificing my mind, I'm sacrificing my sanity, but most importantly, I'm sacrificing my time. Boy, I feel fine, I feel like I am a king. Honestly, I can't complain, even with faith that's the size of a grain of some salt, I will still move a mountain and do what I want. I got salt.